Welcome to my life with six mental health disorders. Let you show you what I go through in my daily life. My name is Jodie Mortimer. I have mental health disorder. I was involved in a big car accident and I have suffered from trauma. I've been diagnosed with six different mental health disorders. Depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, conversion disorder, paranoia and psychosis. And this is what I do to get through every day. First things first. I pray my rosary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Sometimes I like to just stare out the window, sit here, or stand here, staring out the window. Some days, 
I disdained he. I think I'll go out. This is about as far as I get to the front gate. It's a form of a paranoia. Can't leave the property. Too afraid to go out. I've got to wait for my wife to get home before I can go out. <laughs> it's uh, quite strange that I'm now too afraid to leave the our property well that's the way things are when you've got mental health <sighs> yeah here I am now back inside after my walk to the front gate ah. let me tell you a little story uh, me and my wife, we went into um, into Upper Hut in Wellington to check out this church there, St. Joseph Church. And uh, then we went over and got something to eat at this uh, place called Curry Works. And as we were walking in there, I started to get this thing, which is a bit like Tourette's, where I kind of shake like this and do this and... This woman's walking across the road towards us. And as we're walking across the road, me and my wife, we've got this. And the look on her face was, oh, she just like, what a freak. Look at this guy. What's wrong with him? And my wife just looked so embarrassed. And then we walked in. And we had a curry. <sighs> see, I have problems. You can see my hands shaking. This thing's starting to do this. This is anxiety coming through. And uh, yeah, I can't go to a lot of places. If there's too many people there, I get freaked out. If there's, I get all these kind of like flashbacks will start coming in at me. And I start thinking about things that have happened to me, trauma and stuff like that. So it's best not to get in that frame of mind. This is just to show you what it's like 
to live with trauma. Out of everything that I've got, out of all the six disorders that I have, I think the most weirdest one is the conversion disorder. It's really weird because it's like what uh, the military get and soldiers get, like shell shock from being in, in enemy lines. And it can affect your legs, your whole body, feels like it's paralysed. It only lasts for about 10-15 minutes but it's Pretty freaky, and also, um, yeah, um, you can't speak. It's like you lose speech. You, and that's quite freaky as well. But my medication helps. My wife's home, yay! Here she is. Hello, Jose. You finish work now. You finish work now. You're right. Action. Hi, my name is Jennifer Mortimer. I'm Jodie's wife. Um, yeah, I think the hardest part about Jodie's mental health problems is a lot of people don't understand. They don't understand um, how trauma can affect you and how badly and um, it even took me a while to um, realize how how much it has affected Jody and yeah just just seeing the way things affect him little things can trigger him off anything even a certain color or a certain sound or yeah just tiny little things can trigger him off and um, he can become quite um, out of control really so I, yeah it's something that you learn to live with but it it is difficult and um, I think what I find the easiest way is to distract him when he is stressed, 
uh, distract him by talking about things that he loves doing, like cooking or or films, films that he enjoys or music that he enjoys, and that's that's what I've found has helped him a lot. But yeah, it is difficult to live with. Um, I just want to say that I'm very proud of Jody because of everything he's achieved in spite of his trauma is really amazing. Yep. These are my last words. Anybody who suffers from any kind of disorder, mental disorder, whatever it is, anxiety, depression, whatever it is. You've got to find something that you really enjoy that you can just throw yourself into. I did it with filmmaking. Filmmaking has helped me a lot. I make short films, short film documentaries, made a couple of mockumentaries, and this has really helped me with my mental health making these documentaries and there is help out there for others who suffer from mental health and I find the best thing that's helped me is getting into filmmaking and also music Jesus!